72 degrees outside and it's uh clear skies and sunny don't ask why i'm wearing a raincoat <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody? How's it going today? How y'all doing? I know y'all doing good. I just know it. Look, uh today's video is uh it's something I came across randomly. Why do I feel like my phone's vibrating? It's a Star Wars showdown. Who will win Guinness's world records? Now I watched like the first five seconds and was like, I gotta react to this. I don't know why. So in the first five seconds, it kind of it felt. I, I I don't know what the world record is. Like, is it? Let me read the description real quick. So, just so I know what I'm, <laughs> what we're. Uh, let's see, let's see. Now, kind of Star Wars fan gathered at SkillCon to compare the largest winner, stays on lightsaber competition, combining elements of sword fighting and martial arts from all around the world. Jedi and Sith face off and there can only be one winner who will it be what does that mean what is the world record <laughs> let's find out I guess <laughs> let's go you look like my cousin all right let's go Darth Maul Darth Vader Darth Nihilus all the other Siths thumbs up <clears throat> Kylo Ren thumbs down oh he passing it Oh, why are you gonna hit me with a with an ad? Finding time. All right. Compliments of the set. Okay. Aloha, I'm Keith Milet. I'm from Hawaii. Why? Hey, it was good. Be part of the largest light speed saber. So is it like competition? Kendo. Record attempt. Here at Fencing. I'm so interested because I love Star Wars, but there's just people who just take it to the next level. Yeah, so we're doing like uh, winner stays on kind of king of the hill and um, so it's like fencing opening up to have dual sabers or the cross guard sabers as well oh. so those are uh, kind of considered exotic uh, it's gonna oh, be God. Really fun intense and whoever stays on is Golly. gonna have a good, good battle ahead of them <laughs> <laughs> this dude got two my name is Kenny Snow, and I'm the founder of Lightspeed Saber League, and we, uh, we call ourselves the world's fastest light-based fencing. So it is very similar to fencing, but it has a lot of differences as well. For the world record, we are going to show you our point system. And uh, I'm going to have Castle and Joshua demonstrate for us. Guard. All right, so now the point system is only going to go to three points rather than ten. Okay. And, uh, so, I'm so like... Uh, when Trisha arrives... It's so interesting. Hit, okay. Then in that case, she'll actually get two points because Josh didn't hit her back. Okay. Now in the alternate situation, Trisha hits first and then Josh hits second. Okay. In that case, Trisha only gets one point for that. Okay. So since it's the three-point match, Trisha can win faster if she scores with those first uh, with those clean hits with the two pointers. So that's pretty much it. Yo, what's up? Is that cheating? This is Darth Maul's lightsaber. Also no, I prefer to call him Mauler. Mauler. I've been doing this move for quite a while. It's one of my I am a big fan of, of the lightsaber, actually. So that's why I wanted to create something that was an homage to the idea of a light-based sword. Uh, what I really admire about it is the fact that uh, it has no handguard on it, which is really unusual for a sword, you know? And it's also really, really light. Uh, so that means it has traits of knife fighting, uh, but also since it's long, it has traits of sword combat. Uh, but since it has no handguard, it has traces of like machete and stick combat too. <laughs> Relax. We are not porks. Ah. It's still like, this is an entire culture. Sword techniques and weapon arts from any kind of Which is uh, wild. martial art and apply it to uh, this system. These are a science fiction weapon. So the rules are as such that you don't have to hit with any uh, level of force because it's a lightsaber. So it should be mm -hmm. able to cut through anything. That's Double true. Double-sided is, is really meant for offense because 
the presence of two blades obviously sends not only an intimidation factor, but that means you're meaning business. Two blades going at your opponent. You don't have much room for thrust though, but a swings and power attacks come very, very easy because you're moving your entire body along with it. And as you spin it, you're, you're basically sending a message, come get me. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes right into character. <laughs> he didn't even finish talking. He just went straight into character. Oh. Oh, she said. Cha cha. Well, my name is Kevin. Uh, I'm just participating with a lot of lightsaber groups from all over the United States coming here to participate in the world's longest light speed record. Um, we're here just to be a fight it out, meet from all over the United States. All these great fighters that have been coming from all over the world just to compete in one place. His <laughs> shoe came out. Kind of, I'm excited to see everyone fighting here. It seems like people have a lot of different reasons to fight here, a lot of different passions. At its heart, you know, we are fans. Like, why are you wearing a robe, dude? The Star Wars franchise, we love it. We try to do the spirit of it justice. You know, we're not here to compete, but I think it is more about the camaraderie and just people are coming together around something that is fun, it's athletic. So there's a, a saying that we like to use of honor before glory. Before glory. It's really interesting because you're seeing a lot of different levels fighting each other. Um, which is unusual because usually people have been doing this before and they kind of have a little bit of familiarity. I feel like wearing all that like so costume that and stuff hinders well, your movement. Never, like never mind. <laughs> never mind. That dude just bodied her. Again. Dang. It's been, it's been painful. Yeah, long journey and we're tired and hungry and but we're hanging in there. Um, well, Dang. I defeated till the finals, and then Mr. Matthew beat me like a true champion did. I'm defeated as well. Yeah. It was very fun. It's very fun. A lot of good fighters out there. Respect to all of them. It seems like the fights are starting to get more intense as they go on. <clears throat> We're just enjoying watching it. It's pretty cool. Oh my. Dang. The final? Okay. Look at the footwork. Look at the footwork. Okay. Okay. Look at the footwork. Okay, faint. The faint. Oh, look at the faint. One. Oh, it's two, two. Last one. Last bout. Who's? Dang. <laughs> Kang Snow. He sounds like a Star Wars character. So you needed fifty competitors to set the record right. <laughs> We're teaching in jeans. He just came there just cause. Oh, let me undo it. Oh, that's what it is? I thought it was like an actual Thank like, you very much. May the force be with you. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. That's honestly pretty cool. I was, I was kind of getting into it. Should I, should I? Should I? No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy how that's like an actual like community, which is pretty cool. I can't even fake. But yeah, man. Uh... I'll be it for the video. If y'all enjoyed it, you know, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Like, would would you try it? Would you would you try that, John? I would. Like, you know, like, let's get us. I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, it's more than just a lightsaber from like Walmart. Obviously. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, create a great day. Not just for yourself. May the force be with you. Oh, that was so ugly. Alright, y'all, create a great day. Nice for yourself, but for everyone else. Peace.